connecting an Xbox controller to your Samsung Smart TV is very easy. So let's see how you can do that, either using a cable or wirelessly via Bluetooth. In this video we are using the Xbox One wireless controller, but it's the same for any other Xbox controllers. Now the wired connection part is self-explanatory. You just plug in one end of the cable to your TV's USB port and the other end to your Xbox controller. And voila, you can start using your Xbox controller right away. So you won't even need the batteries. But if you don't want wires getting in your way, then let's toss that aside and connect it wirelessly via Bluetooth. So for that, we need to open the Input Device Manager. You can either find it on the Smart Hub or by going to All Settings. So from All Settings, we need to go to Connection and then External Device Manager, then Input Device Manager. Now we will enter the Bluetooth device list. It will start searching for Bluetooth devices. So let's pick up our controller and turn it on. Then we need to go to the pairing mode by holding down the pair or setup button until you see the LED flashing rapidly. Then you can let go off of it. And now it should pop up on the list. But if it doesn't, then you can just hit refresh. Now you can see that our controller has appeared on the list. So we'll press OK and pair and connect. That's all, our controller is connected. We can press OK. And now you can start using it to control your TV. So let's go back to the home by pressing the Xbox button. We can navigate through the home screen either by using the D-pad or the left thumbstick. You can also adjust the volume of your TV using the right thumbstick. To select an app, you can press A. To go back, you can press B. You can also open the Smart Hub by pressing the X button. Though the Y button doesn't bring up the search menu as it usually does. Also, the bumpers and trigger buttons doesn't work here. But all of these will work on games and apps that have controller support. Don't forget that you can use the TV remote and your controller together. And if you want to disconnect your controller, you can just turn it off. The next time you turn on your controller, it will pair with your Samsung Smart TV on its own. So that's all there is to it. Now you can use your controller as a remote or play games on your Samsung TV using it. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Until next time, game on.